Balance sheets are another really important budget you need to do in your business. You would have been introduced to balance sheets through your accountant in your tax return because they need to do it for your tax. We're suggesting don't use that balance sheet. It doesn't record all the value of your assets. We suggest you do a management balance sheet which effectively values all your assets being land, machinery, maybe livestock, adds them up and also your liabilities. So what borrowings you have with the bank, with the finance companies or with family members adds those up. Total assets, less total liabilities give us net worth. And that's a very valuable, in fact, it's the most valuable benchmark number you can measure in your business. And what we'd like to see is that net worth growing from year to year. That means your business is becoming wealthier, yes, but has a greater ability to manage the risks of uncertainty of poor seasons. That net worth is also expressed as equity. So net worth divided by total assets gives us the percentage of your assets that you own. And that equity measure for dryland farming should be above 70%. If you're above 70%, then you're in a position again to manage the ups and downs that come with farming. And we also suggest you measure your balance sheet on one day of the year. And we probably suggest the 1st of March because that's generally when the harvest has come in, you've had a lot of payment and you hopefully have your overdraft back to zero. Some farmers ask me, why do I do my balance sheet? I'm never going to sell the farm. It's not about selling the farm. There's two reasons to do it. One is that banks lend to you on security. Security is the amount that you own in your business and so the balance sheet demonstrates that to them. Secondly, net worth as I've expressed is a great measure of performance of the business and if you have a, a record of how that's going, that's another way to say are we being successful. I want to give you an example of a farmer I worked with for 10 years through the really hard 2000 period where in the Northern Mallee in South Australia they experienced an average decile 3 rainfall in that whole 10 year period. This resulted in him only generating probably three profit, positive profits out of 10 years. Normally the bank would say, no, you're not making loan repayments, I need your keys. But through that period, land values were going up astronomically. And looking at his balance sheet, his net worth was also going up, which meant his equity was being managed above 70%. Banks were happy, even though we were focusing on cash flow and profit and loss, they weren't, farmers weren't feeling very happy, their performance of their balance sheet was exceptional. More farmers are really finding value in doing their balance sheet every year.